city with the aim of bringing change, topics, and realities. Every Saturday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Royal FM. Topics and Realities, a weekly program brought to you by the English desk of Royal FM. Royal FM. Topics and Realities. Topics and Realities. Topics and Realities. The gateway to change. Corruption is a daily reality in Cameroon. There is no sector that is not affected. The army, the custom, police, justice, national education, health services, public transport, public markets, the media, the electoral process, the civil, the civil service, the private sector, basically all public and parapublic activities, the relationship between the administration and individuals and between individuals themselves. Whether it is pity or ground, corruption is increasingly reaching an unbearable level. The fight against corruption, which has been underway in Cameroon for more than two decades, is of the utmost importance. Looking at what is at stake, corruption is important. Looking at what is at stake, corruption needs to be fought out of Cameroon. Corruption in Cameroon has get back to incivility. Incivility has led to boycott in the electoral list, thereby creating voters' appetite and a political alienation. Good afternoon, blessed people. Welcome to Topics and Realities, your Saturday afternoon talk show program in which we capture the topics, we treat the topics, we make them a reality in our life. Topics and Realities for this new season, 2023, beginning today, will dwell on two subjects. First, in politics, we talk about the ongoing registration process in Cameroon. We are about 25 million Cameroonians, but voters' registration have never reached 10 million Cameroonians due to Cameroonians' registration. Due to Cameroonians' registration. Why? Tell us in the program topics and realities why the increasing uh, level of voter appetite in Cameroon. In the second subject of the day, President Paul Bia in his end of year message to Cameroonians says the time to fight corruption and incivility is now. Topics and realities is asking the question, how can we fight against to uh, corruption and incivility in the country? Tell us through our number 671 157321 or 691-738357. 691-738357. 620-374781. Remember, Topics and Realities is a talk show program in which your contribution will go a long way in the development of this this country. The team keeping you company this afternoon is made up of Solomon Esana, who is a sound engineer. He is a copyright clerk. He is a video editor on our Facebook page, Royal FM Cameroon. Topics and Reality is a production of the English service of Royal 88.4 FM under the coordination of our Director General, Carol Pudans Chinti. General supervision this afternoon is assured by Reverend Beside Emmanuel Noy. For presentation, call me the moderator. My name is Abel Bela Samari. I am the son of Danke, and I will be right back. Praise the Lord, the Lord is good, for his mercies endure forever. Hey, hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the Lord is good, for his mercies endure forever. God is greater, God is greater. God is greater
Thank you so very much, Solomon Esana. If you are just joining us, the program is Topics and Realities coming to you from Royal 88.4 FM. Without wasting any time, we take you to our mutual assistance and solidarity muscle. And what we'll come back, we we'll tend to do those who are already with us here in the studio. It's a quite a full uh, house that we are having here at Royal 88.4 FM. Happy New Year from my end to you all listening to us. Remember that access code this afternoon is 671. 157 1571157321 We are going to talk politics and we talk society. Let's first of all talk about the mutual assistance and solidarity. Africa. Destiny helpers are of various kinds, sent along a path in times of great need. They are angelic destiny helpers, human destiny helpers, and the Holy Spirit of God. Do you know that the Pharaoh's daughter was a destiny helper used by God to salvage the baby Moses at birth? You found that in Exodus chapter 2 verse 1 to 10 of the Holy Bible. Ruth was a destiny helper to Naomi. We have also many destiny helpers in the Bible and in real life today. The academic year 2022-2023 have started. Do you know that there are some pupils and students who are not sure of going to school this year? The economic situation of the country have rendered parents hopeless in front of their children. The family burden on parents have forced them to keep their children longer at home. 
The mutual assistance and solidarity Maso can be described as a destiny helper to many. Looking at what Maso has done, we can confidentially say is with Maso goal, we can solve the issue of pupils and students not going to school as a result of fees or financial burden. Maso goal has put at the disposal of mutualists a financial package. The question we should be perhaps ask ourselves is how many people have actually bought the spirit of the mutual assistance and solidarity where we can contribute to the growth of an unknown person. With Maso, your dream could be realized. Maso is built on the African spirit of solidarity, which is God's design project itself. It gears towards helping each other and changing our destiny. Maso is that destiny helper you just need to go closer and then you will understand what God is still saying in Africa. At Maso, we simply live our African values. <laughs> And to talk about the mutual assistance and solidarity, if you want to be part of the raffle draw that will take place on the 9th of July 2023 at the Multipurpose Sports Complex uh, uh, Yaoundé, here in Yaoundé, we are equally going to know that for you to be participating for this raffle draw of uh, uh, a, a non refundable academic and school fees loan. We are talking about uh, the Mutual Assistance and Solidarity Contribution Week that runs from the 2nd of January to today, Saturday, the 7th of January 2029. At the 27th week, if you are contributing uh, 2,500 francs weekly, at this 27th week, you are supposed to have uh, 65,000 francs CFA for those who are going in for the 130,000 francs CFA uh, bonus for those of the uh, so, uh, secondary, uh, those of the university level those who want to study out of the country those who want to study in the university level here in cameroon where uh the contribution is 91,000 francs cfa yearly and at the 27 week where you have 1750 francs a weekly contribution for the 27 week you are supposed to be at 47,250 uh, francs cfa a and the week runs from the second of january and it ends today uh saturday january the 7 2021 for those who are going in for school fees loan what two million francs cfa for secondary schools where the contribution uh level is sixty five thousand francs yearly at the 27 week at uh, where you contribute 1250 francs cfa you are supposed to be at thirty three thousand seven hundred and fifty uh, francs uh, cfa for those who are going in for the uh, school fees loan for primary uh, schools where it stands at uh, at uh uh, the primary school level where the contribution is uh, 1,000 francs CFA for you to have uh, uh, 52,000 francs at the end of the year. When we talk about this contribution, you are supposed to uh, have uh, uh, at the 27th week, you are supposed to have uh, 27,000 francs CFA if you are going in for the 1,000 francs contribution weekly. And at this point in time, the week that runs from the 2nd of January to the 7th of January, it should be noted that uh, the, stand, the 1 million francs CFA has been put at the disposal for school fees loan for primary schools. For those talking about Mutual Classic, because uh, that was Mutual Goal for the Mutual uh, Classic where the contribution is 100 francs uh, daily, 500 francs weekly. We have uh, uh, at the 27th week, you are supposed to have uh, 13,500 francs if you are into Maso Classic, where the contribution yearly is 26,000 francs CFA. The mutual assistance and solidarity Maso stands apart from uh, uh, those uh, draws, stands also will stand a lot to gain from the mutual assistance and solidarity. Those are the secondary uh, benefits. The primary benefits are enormous, but just rush to any Renapo Finance SA agency. There are 26 of them in the country, Cameroon, 12 of them in the capital city of Yaoundé. Go there, you will meet somebody who is going to explain to you the different advantages that you will gain of becoming a member of the Mutual Assistance and Solidarity. Or if you have any diet, meet us here at the Radio House. We are situated at Kameh 
Kamer, just adjacent the bus stop to the University of Yaoundé 2 Swa. You meet us at Immobile Binam, second floor, and you meet us there. There will be somebody that will be able to explain to you all that you need to know concerning the mutual assistance and solidarity mass. So in whatever language that you want to know, you meet us here at the radio, F uh, radio house, you will meet us somebody that will be able to explain to you. If you can't do all those things, but you have a telephone, you want to get all uh, in touch with uh, the, uh, us through the mutual assistance and solidarity, just call any of these lines. Somebody will respond to your worries. 699-442977. 699-442977. Or you go to 674 three nine two seven four six six seven four three nine two seven four six oh six nine five three three nine five zero three remember that the mutual assistance and solidarity muscle is built on the african spirit of solidarity and assistance and we are out to valorize our african culture of solidarity so that at the end together for a fulfilled life full of happiness <laughs> À la Masso, vivons simplement nos valeurs africaines. We come back to the program uh, topics and realities if you are just joining us you do well to be uh with us and you are in the right place but before then we have a very full house uh, this afternoon let me begin from my far right uh, he is uh, a political scientist he is Sueba alba he's here with us uh, good afternoon to you sir and welcome to topics and realities good afternoon nebel uh, good afternoon to my co-panelist and uh, a special good afternoon to you the listeners of uh, Royal FM, topics on realities. You know, happy New Year to everyone, prosperous one. And uh, I guess this is my happy first New Year to you, eh? On the program today, and I'm hoping that we do uh, share yeah. a lot, learn, yeah. as well as educate the, the numerous Cameroonians that are listening to us. Yeah, obviously. That is one of our missions uh, for us to be able to do that. Uh, thank you very much for honoring our invitation uh, this afternoon. Ever since we will uh, call for you, you are always there. You'll be giving us a lot of political insight in some of the things that we want to know today. It's always a pleasure, Abel, to be here. And uh, hopefully, I will do my best yeah. to educate the Cameroonians on uh, what we have today, the topics we have to discuss on today. Obviously, for those who uh, don't know Sueba Abba, he is uh, a uh, PhD student in political uh, science. Equally joining me in the studio is uh, Viban Jones. Uh, I always call him the man of the civil society, uh, the man with the adult voice, but it's not the size. Uh, frankly, he's just laughing because you know what I'm talking about. Uh, good afternoon to you, Viban Jones. Good afternoon, Abel. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you on the program. The pleasure is mine. I want to say... Happy New Year to all the listeners of Real FM. Happy New Year to uh, all the managing uh, staff of uh, Real FM. And Happy New Year to my fellow panel members who are here today for us to discuss issues of national interest and uh, to see how we can also add our own ideas in the nation building i hope we really going to have a good deliberation yeah we learn from each other and uh, the end of the day we should be satisfied that somebody out there must have learned something yeah from what we are saying here obviously uh, you are also uh, into teaching the school several times started with a lot of euphoria i believe yeah it is it started on tuesday and uh, immediately after the, 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 the new year celebration yeah immediately after the new year celebration and uh, i mean the resumption was a little bit timid but uh, gradually we we took yeah. off 
and uh, we were hoping that uh, things we really didn't hear a major activity, a major incident that took place during the first term. Yeah. We pray that the second term will run successfully as well to the end. <coughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we do pray so because uh, this is an <coughs> examination period and our children will be writing the exam. And some people have termed this second term to be one of the shortest uh, term in the school year. But even though somebody says that uh, uh, we are uh, in the educational system, they have changed the system. It is talking out uh, three three months period uh, since they are nine months they are divided it it is not like when we're going to school that we know that there is the first term the second term the second term now those things have been moderated there is no longer like uh, the longest term the shorter terms but you work now on program sequence yes we, we work on sequences Do we call it sequence well yeah kind of okay uh at all level uh, but we know the university level remains at uh, the first and second yeah, semesters and semester. uh, uh, a semester normally supposed to ha have an average of uh, 10 11 yeah. weeks but uh, like we said uh, much has really not changed in, in line with the with the division of uh, uh, the nine months because uh, what uh, the minister the minister of uh, secondary education uh, wrote and gave out that the GC will commence this year back in May yeah. and you see that uh, the second term We'll be going out sometime around March. So by the time we come back in April, we'll just finalize things for the children to begin writing the GC in May. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you very much for, for being with us. Now, let me move to my file F. I welcome Mr. Shea Lambert. He too is a teacher, but what I, he's also uh, a community leader because he's the Secretary General of uh, the, uh, the uh, National Secretary General of All Non Youth. In, 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 in Cameroon, eh? somebody says that people of that level are public opinion holders. Thank you for joining us uh, in the program topics and realities. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Mr. Eber. It's always a pleasure being on this panel, and uh, I'm very happy that the panel is full today and made up of great minds. And we shall be, uh, we shall receive some sense from them, and we hope that uh, we shall not have or we shall we shall not record mm -hmm. what we recorded last uh, last year yeah on this part last year has gone yeah and we say uh bye to old but days. somebody was just intimidating uh, you yes i hope you have come in 2023 because the same people you will still see them and they will intimidate you for you not to talk yeah they, <laughs> they are these particular persons that have the habit of intimidating <laughs> others i do not have any problem with that when i want to say the truth i say the truth but so far so good i wish to extend my greetings to dion robert mr dion robert yeah uh he's the outgoing national president general president of, of the non student association and you are eyeing his position uh, no, no that is no, politics no. we have, we have, a, we, we, have we have a lady on that position already okay. i remember i told you when we were going for elections okay. and that is why i'm occupying the post of the general yeah, secretary so you don't have your, your ambition no, no, is still no, no, buried no, no. yeah yeah but i hope people at that level are also registered into the non use i registry yeah yeah it's not like the case we have in the electoral store uh, it is anyway we'll be talking about it oh, yeah. thank you we'll very much. About, but thank you for coming frankly one she is a social worker if you come around the sensitization you have been doing in school is he leading any fruits good afternoon to you franklin good afternoon happy new year. welcome to talk happy new year to everybody especially to all the listeners of royal fm and to the managing direct uh, man managing team of royal fm I would like to steal this opportunity and wish Madame Ga Estela, she's one of our online followers from Bermuda, yeah. a happy new year. Uh, Abel, this year uh, we started the first phase of the program that we call the program SMATCH. We moved around secondary schools and sensitizing students and the effects of uh, taking alcohol and drugs at their age and how, they, uh, how it affects their, their education. When we move around, it's around this time that I realized that what we did last year is really yielding fruits because last year we moved into so many schools around in cameroon here and in many schools we saw students with drugs the students are uh, how can i call it caught having drugs and weapons but this year that issue has really dropped down because out of the 100 schools that we have done so far i'm very sure that not up to 10 schools have recorded those incidents where you go and meet students having knives and others like that which gradually means that what we are doing is really creating an impact out there 
and i'm very happy that we are not the only people doing it because we know how far the ministry of education is trying how far teachers are trying mm -hmm. how far parents are trying even the civil society how far we are trying to make sure that tomorrow we have a good Cameroonian society yes and that is why we brought you because uh, there is a portion of what we are going to be discussing that we are talking about incivility in our society are you fall within that run we are going to be talking about all that uh, in this edition and he's here with me eh? some people say he's my legal constitu uh, constitutional experts they call him legal mind but all the way He's uh, having a special greeting for Madame Guy Estella, who says that greetings, Mr. Abel and the crew, and happy new year to you all, guys. Thank you very much. We equally have uh, uh, Christ, uh, Christy Kenzeka, Christ Charity uh, Kenzeka. He says that uh, greetings, Mr. Samari, and happy new year to you and your guests. Thank you so very much for uh, honoring us in this program. Topics and realities. Happy new year to you, Nelson Lambry. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you. The pleasure shared. Happy New Year to you, Ebebele Samari. Happy New Year to the fellow panelists. Happy New Year to the listeners of Royal FM. And Happy New Year to the promoter of this radio, Emmanuel Nwebisai. Yeah, on his behalf, I receive it. And even those of uh, the management team. Yeah? We are talking about fighting corruption in Cameroon. Is it possible? <laughs> I think uh, 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 it's possible to fight uh, uh, correct, uh, corruption. Sorry, mm -hmm. if the will is there, and if actually the, the, the governing case, the governing team, that. if the governing anyway. team uh, takes it into consideration, but from now they are just doing a, a hocus pocus type of thing. Uh, they are pretending to fight corruption by promoting corruption i keep okay. saying it here anyway anyway uh, anyway we are going to be coming that that was just to find out sir and to also tell our listeners that we are going we are going to be talking about that you are going to be giving us a, le a lot of legal uh insights on that program let's move straight to our uh, machines where uh, our press review have been done for us our press review is a regular slot in the program topics and realities where we look into what has been making news in cameroon africa and the world and we will come back with true light on some of this issue our press review was prepared for us by our own crystal mando Good afternoon to you, Christelle. Good afternoon, Ibel Bila Samari. Good afternoon, dear listeners of Topics and Reality. And good afternoon to everyone in the studio. We will open the press review of today, 7 January 2023, Ibel, with the news on the presidential traditional L of Year speech. Different newspapers talked of this speech by analyzing it. On this speech, Cameroon Tribune had as headline Paul Bia as a compatriot, not to politics, the inclusion social vas to poursuivre. Other newspapers that treated of this topic have The Sun, who had as headline end of year speech, be a harassment fee for raising, ensuring judicious use of finances. Without forgetting the newspaper Horizon. In other news, during this week, newspaper talked of the dear life that will multiply in 2023 as the finance law adopted in 2022 increases charges in most sectors has started being implemented this year 2023. Still on dear life, the newspaper L'Emergence talked of the increase of electricity bills in 2023, while the newspaper Le Jour talked of the increase of price in fiscal stamp which is implemented in the different administrative services another topic that made news during this week is the summary of last year 2022 different newspapers brought out the main points on what marked the year 2022 the newspaper l'emergence pointed out the number of deaths recorded in 2022 as they had as headline accident de la route plus de 3000 morts en 2022 meanwhile sans retour newspaper contested the number as they said it was less than 963 deaths in 2022 according to the indicators in the financial domain the newspaper the guardian post pointed out the amount that the taxation domain generated in 2022 it has as headlined despite challenges Taxation department generated over 2,426 billions. This was in the Wednesday edition. And in sports, the main news during this week was the death of a renowned Brazilian footballer player, Pelé, that was treated by the newspaper L'Essentiel with the headline, Il était une fois la légende Pelé. Still in sports, 
we had the news on the construction of the Olembe Stadium that has been abandoned. This was in the newspapers of Friday, 6 January 2023. Some newspapers like La Voix, L'Emergence, Info, Asho, and Le Jour treated this topic. They had headlines like Forfait à Olembe and Complex Sportif Olembe Abandon the Travaux par Maguire. This is what we had for you for this press review. Thank you for listening and meet you such day for another package it's a pleasure thank you so very much for that press review let me move to you uh lambert sir uh she lambert you follow the press review i don't know what caught your attention this week that you think that well, we can talk and share about it uh thank you very much mr eber uh this week um we had the visit of uh, the president they consider him the president elect of the uh, is it uh, MAC uh, Maurice Camto Professor Maurice Camto mm -hmm. uh, to the presidency he was it it, it 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 created chaos and I don't really understand why it should be creating chaos we also but he's a Cameroonian the a, is for all Cameroonians yeah that is just from that perspective that I'm reasoning and people we many people and many of his followers had issues with that I also um, came across um, uh, a, a, a an article uh, or oh, i came also i uh, came across a report uh, from from Duala, mm -hmm. a pastor uh, impregnating a 50 year old girl <laughs> and and vanishing so those are the things that happens in our society and at the end of the day we start questioning whether we really need to go to church or we need to. what is happening we need and to go to when church people, should we abandon going to church people who we look up to to have a better society are the one committing this atrocity then, then there is a problem there is a problem and uh, you see this uh, is going to play um, on people's faith we may just consider the fact that or many people will consider the fact that these men of god they use uh, the bible cover themselves and they commit a lot of uh, uh, atrocities within our society you can uh, i think if you if you have a sharp mind you 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 remember uh, a, a, a priest i don't know it's a priest who uh, was uh, running a church and he was a head of a gang and i, I yeah. remember they removed arm from that small church uh, and it was so shocking just imagine i hope you don't have personal issues with churches i don't have any personal okay. i'm a christian I don't I don't have any I am not having any personal issue I'm a Christian so when I'm bracing this up it's just for us to start looking on or seeing on how to solve these issues in our society okay. I don't know from what or I don't know what are the criteria that have been put in place to make somebody a priest or, or a pastor or somebody just get up and decide to be a priest or a pastor those are the things that we really need to take into consideration and more to that you need to see that churches in our society are even becoming more than the bars that we have in the society okay what are the criteria for a church to be operational those are the quick those are the things that we really need to answer and look into thank you very much frankly Wanti, what caught your attention uh, the report made by a newspaper that in 2002 in 2022 excuse me more than 3,000 people were recorded dead on in cameroon mm -hmm. the very report has been uh, annulled by another newspaper that we says we say that that report is fake because they said going into the details coming from the national security mm -hmm. coming from the gendarmerie coming from the ministry of health transport um uh, insurance syndicates others that uh, the number is not up to that level what i would like to say about this particular number is how will we not have roads like that in cameroon first of all i would like to blame our transport agencies you see a a, a particular a one vehicle that is running that is uh, running from yaoundé to bamida with one single driver he will load in the morning when he reaches bamida he rests for around five hours he's driving back this is a journey of at least these days coupled with the bad nature of the roads mm -hmm. is at least seven to eight hours you walk for seven to eight hours, come and rest for three hours, and you walk again for seven to eight hours. We should make sure that any bus that is traveling long, the Ministry of Transport should ensure this. Any bus that is covering a distance which is more than 200 kilometers should have at least two drivers. One other thing, the nature of the routes. Abel, I was shocked two weeks ago when I traveled to Douala. I was really shocked when I see they are claiming and showing the uncompleted, uh, uh, how do they call Autoroute? it? Autoroute. Lux the highway. Uh, highway. We, when, when they are talking about construction, I know that particular position where they always show it. It is on the way from Yaoundé to Lobo. They always show that particular position and say, what is going on? It's the same position. 
When you travel from here to Douala, it's a sad case. The road linking two major, two major towns is a one-way road. And they expect heavy trucks, uh, motorbikes, small uh, vehicles, medium-sized buses, everything to pass on this road. How will we not have um, uh, accidents? There are so many bends on the road without even indications. The, um, beside the roads, there are so many bushes, not cleared. How will we not have all these accidents? I think that as the, um, as the travel agencies are also trying to upgrade their own quality of transportation, the ministry should step in and do its work. We should make sure that the road that all of these roads that are linking major towns should be a two-way, at least a two-way system. When you leave from Yaoundé and you are going to to uh, uh, to Obala here, let me not, not go far. The road is a tight, very very tight, very very narrow. How will we not have accidents? Most of these drivers, some of them do drink before driving. We all know that. And when they reach at the, at the checkpoint, when when it is the 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 the, the, the right. So it's a confirmed issue that drivers do drink before. They uh, drink. Okay. I'm not even asking anybody. Go and check. There there was a certain point here that they gave a balloon here that uh, road safety guys should be giving to drivers for, for the when they see you that you, you have been drinking, you have to rest some time before going. When drivers reach there, they give them five thousand and pass. We know the issue. We will talk about corruption. It's very difficult to eradicate corruption from our system. They will give them five thousand and say, "Let's more pass." Ah, ça va, ça va. They go. Are they risking the lives of Cameroonians or protecting the lives of Cameroonians? Let me leave it at that level. You want to leave it at that level? Okay. Nelson Lambris, what caught your attention? I want to. Yeah. I want to continue. From go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. From where uh, uh, Franklin uh, 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 ended. Okay. But starting with the autoroute. I was uh, privileged to use uh, the autoroute some few days ago from Yaoundé to uh, to Douala. Before you get to the autoroute, the, the path is really terrible. But when I got to the autoroute, I was like, wow. Are we in Cameroon? From Pekka Zero right up to, it's just 59 uh, kilometers. I counted it and I was seeing the indication. But I want to believe that if this road is completed, honestly, it will be a plus uh, to the governing team. But, but it's why just, the delay it's Did just, you find it's out just, to know why the delay Can you imagine? Can you imagine that we, we, uh, that uh, uncompleted of the road is not allowed for public uh, transport? But can you imagine that we left Yaoundé and we arrived Bumyebe at 45 minutes? Because we had to use uh, the, 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 the auto route. And after that, it was like hell. Like he's saying, uh, that treasure road linking uh, Yaoundé to Douala, the route that are, they are currently using now, I, I wonder if we can call that, that type of road a highway uh, linking the two major towns of, of, of this country. I want to give a plus to all the drivers that are actually applying this road because then you need extra expertise and experience caution and and, and, and we had the, the, the head of state in his end of year message to, to, says that a to, lot should be done in our roads to go through that that uh, road and you arrive a, a big town uh, like 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 douala i think that they need to speed up the construction of this uh, 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 auto route from yaoundé to to douala maybe other uh, uh, trash of routes that are linking uh, big towns of our country. Again, uh, the, 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 uh, the end of year presentation of the new year, which is to, mm -hmm. to, to the president of, of, of the republic, mm -hmm. and, and, and making waves that uh, the president of a political party had to go uh, in, in, in the presidency. That we, saw, pre we saw Nee John was uh, there. That is the pres presidency of the, of, of a Cameroonians, yeah. and, and, and nobody owns the presidency. So any other Cameroonian on invitation, or even you wish you can you can you can book an audience, and you'll be you'll be you'll be allowed to go to to, to the presidency. Correct. And politics in Cameroon is not enmity. People need to stop. Uh, politicians are not enemies. You just need to to put your your, your political agenda on the table and try to seduce Cameroonians uh, to vote for you. And if they don't, it doesn't mean that the person who won the election automatically become your enemy. I, I want to believe we are not really ripe for for party politics in 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 in, in this country because most people take uh, 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 politics as if it's is 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 enmity. Uh, inviting or uh, a political leader to go greet another political leader who doubles as the president of the republic there's no issue it is it is but normal it is happening in any uh, democracy uh, in the world so i don't see any reason for people to be to, to be making waves we saw one of the oldest politicians of our time uh, in the presidency also greeting the president of 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 the republic that is a uh, uh, john uh, fundi so i don't i don't see anything uh, wrong with that but to 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 end is 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 uh, uh, the contract 
the, the construction, sorry, the construction of the Olimbi uh, Stadium. The Pobia uh, Stadium. Yes, and then the minister is coming to justify. Uh, uh, the departure of uh, Ma Majil. Public contracts, public contracts, even though it was it was uh, 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 neglected at a particular point, and uh, something was created at the presidency known as the tax force, and the prime minister who doubles to be the head uh, of, of government was, was uh, sidelined and, and, and also removed in, in that. But I think that if you want to award the contracts, there are clauses, there are terms and conditions of a contract of which one party, when you breach that contract, and then you need to pay damages and repair to the person that suffers injury it means that if Maggie was to construct this and Maggie at a particular point abandoned the contract of which all the other conditions of a valid contract was given to her to discharge her duty and then the state of Cameroon need to sue Maggie and for Maggie to get yeah. damages and reparation but Maggie says to, waiting to, them in court to, 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 to Cameroon yes of course so if, if they are claiming that he, uh, Maggie breached the contract and then they should sue Maggie for breaching the contract and if Maggie is being proven beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt as being guilty and then the Maggie will pay damages and reparation okay. to the state of Cameroon yes uh, so if I, you follow the press review Alban I don't know what caught your attention uh, Mr. Abel, what actually caught my attention was uh, the increase in the prices of electricity and uh, that of uh, fiscal stamps. You know, Cameroonians are going to start experiencing a, a very different uh, life trend. You know, our expenses are going to go up because the electricity which we do not have is going to be paid for uh, with a higher in a higher rates and i don't understand why a country like us with all the natural resources that we have with all the uh, waterfalls that we have that we're facing uh, electricity problems you know we cannot invest and we cannot develop and go any further yeah. without uh, energy and we have the resources to provide us with the energy that we need but what is happening and then uh, what equally caught my attention was the Olembe, the Olembe uh, Stadium. Yeah, that Nelson just talked you about. See, yes, that Nelson just talked about. You see, us here in Cameroon, I don't know whether we're actually, the state is actually uh, working the way a, a normal state should. Work, what do you mean? Or should function. We now, are political let me, scientists. Let me explain, let me come. Okay. You see, that particular stadium, was supposed to be built that since 2009. Now we're in 2022. That's the 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 the, the, the foundation stone was laid in, in 2000. And, I don't know what else. 2013. Yeah, 2014, know, 2013. 2013. Yes, but we already started hearing of the construction of that particular stadium since 2009. They laid the foundation stone in 2013, and right now this is 2023, and we're talking about an incomplete stadium. That's to tell you, that shows you the nature of our state. That's exactly how Cameroon is, just like that Olembe Stadium. From chaos to chaos. That's exactly the way our state is functioning. You can, how, before Majil, there was Pichini that left. Majil has come and is going. It means, do you think that the problem is these companies? Now, let's just, just take an example. Where do you think the problem lies? I'm telling you that the problem lies within our state. That is how our state is. That's exactly the way Cameroon is being governed. Just like the Olembe Stadium is being built. That's how we are. That's how the state is. We, are, we have no focus. We are sick everywhere. Look at what <laughs> happened in Senegal. The Senegalese took 18 months to build a stadium that is almost of the same magnitude. You and I saw it. The, in, the, the day they were inaugurating, they invited our uh, president of the Food. He was there. And they took 18 months and the money they used to build that stadium in 18 months is not half it's not up to half of what was budgeted to build the Olympia stadium look at what they said it, it initially initially was to be a complex <coughs> they said there was going to be a, a hotel there there will be a supermarket there will be the long Several hundreds, court, uh, bedrooms I mean, rooms and all the like everything was, was to be a sports complex yeah. and it was to bear the name of the head of state but you see now, what, what do we have? We have the Olympia Stadium. We don't have uh, uh, President we have Paul Bia's uh, Stadium. You understand that he has actually removed his name from it. What is happening? We have to, he himself has to come and explain to Cameroonians this money is not 
Yeah, so you are then, saying that the head of state needs to call a press conference or exactly that's what, they suppose, that's, that's, that's what the head of state is supposed to do on a regular basis organize press conferences and explain to Cameroonians that this is what we are doing you know we wait for the end of year for him to come out and then make but a he speech. said it in the end of year it's another form of informing the people hmm? that we are going to deal with those who are still embezzling and, and, and those are some of the things that you know we are going, going to, to talk about, about. <laughs> that's it let's talk about Viban that Jones. We are talking about the press review. Yes. Um, well, let me begin by, um, first of all, saying Happy New Year to my very own President, Excellency President Jean Dennis, and uh, Fabrice Lena, Secretary General of Popular Action Party, not forgetting a friend of mine whom I know is actually fully us now, Miss Blandine. Okay. Uh, from. Uh, 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 Rabatoire. Okay. Thank you. So what caught my attention, the first thing I want to say is uh, uh, I had one of the newspapers congratulating, the head of state congratulating uh, mm -hmm. the taxation department for uh, a job well done. A job well done. In 2023. Yeah. Uh, you yourself, we saw it. They had to collect a lot of revenue. That a lot of the government revenue. To function. And uh, you and I, we know with a lot of fraudulent activities that are going on, in that taxation itself if all of these things could be wiped out 247 plus billions that they are celebrating would have had more than that and the government is working we saw the minister of finance that had to sanction some people the other day well we're coming to that thank you and then uh the olympics uh the field olympic stadium that uh we you know, know that the failed project it, it is project. you it cannot is say a it's failed, a failed, it's a failed project it, it is failed still on project. course you can't say it is a failed project. We, we 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 cannot be building a stadium of this magnitude for more than 10 years what is it for almost 10 years what, what years are we what are we preparing years, for it's more than enough we, we don't know the duration of the contract but what is the problem no, no, why do no, we no, 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 why do we keep no, no, changing no, no, contractors <laughs> there, there is a saying uh, permit me say it there is a saying that uh if you are a lady and you've dated more you've dated more than four five six men promised to marriage and at the end of the day they have not gotten married to you therefore means there is a let, problem let me try since you, this, hello 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 thank you so Go ahead. yes which therefore means that you the lady you have a problem that's what yeah. that's a common saying in my village mm -hmm. and i want to relate it now to the olembe stadium we've had more than almost if um, uh, Maggie is going out, those should be, that should be the third, the third contractor, contractor leaving that project. What is the problem? The second contractor, you mean to say? Is it second or the, the, second third? Or the third? The second, after Piscini is Magil. Well, we are the second. What is the problem? The fact is, I'm sure Piscini did stop contract to another contractor mm -hmm. that left. That left, yes. Uh, 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 I think it was China or something. Uh, yes, yes. The, they left Pichini in there, Magi. When Magi came in, they praised Magi and Magi. Oh, they want to complete the job in less than no time before the AFCON and this and that and this and that. But he was the, used the, during the finals of the AFCON. It was used in the opening and the closing, but it was not up to standard. It was not what was promised. It to was not the Olympia complex that we are waiting. Yes, the stadium is there. Yes, we can use it because the promise the was that before the opening games on the 7th this is the 7th of january we should be having a complex standing there and not a stadium with the with the pitch only but it was not delivered to Cameroonians, and we are we are today is the 7th as we can see somebody say. said they should call a press conference and talk about it to Cameroonians. they should give us a clear accountability of what is happening in there okay we need to hold connect that was just a press review for not giving us the real information of what's happening in that Olympia stadium that was just the press review gentlemen thank you so very much we've got your opinion and now let's move over to welcome Apala Zita. she did a write up for today she'll be telling us what we are going to be discussing in this program good afternoon to you Mapala Zita. hello abel happy and prosperous 2023 to you and of course a gracious year to our guests and the millions of cameronians out there hopefully you all had a swell time during the end of year feast because trust me, I had fun. Now we are back to business. And talking of business, political actors are even more focused as senatorial elections are fast coming. And of course, whoever says elections definitely says voters cards. And to obtain one, you must, as a citizen, 
enroll on the electoral register. Well, let's talk on the electoral register of Cameroon. The law stipulates that the electoral registers shall be permanent and the annual revision process is in accordance to section 74 and 75 of the electoral code. Accordingly, these registrations are opened every January 1st and closed every August 31st, except otherwise. Unfortunately, voters' registration in recent years is not reflective of the demographic dividends of the country. According to statistics of last year, just slightly over 340,000 Cameroonians registered on the electoral list, whereas, according to some fact finders, more than 7 million Cameroonians are eligible voters. Questions on what keeps Cameroonians away from the voter register the man on the street gave several complaints, among which unwillingness simply due to the state of affairs in the country. I guess you know what I'm talking about. We have citizens who also say they have seen their names in some polling stations during elections and that alone discouraged them from going to register because they had never enrolled on the electoral list. But on the part of other observers, the reasons for the poor turnout include voters' apathy, limited communication from stakeholders, and the current context of the health crisis, as well as security constraints in some regions of the country. Whatever is to be done to remedy the situation was expected in the head of state's traditional end-of-year message to the nation, but I guess the forthcoming senatorial elections was primordial. And just like the elections, President Paul Bia also stressed on corruption and incivility, assuring his Cameroonian compatriots that defaulters will sure not go unpunished. The million-dollar question, however, remains punished by who? when even the justice of, of the country cannot be truly justified by its own judges. Good afternoon and see you next week. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mapalazita, for that uh, uh, right up, setting the ball rolling for us to talk about what is essential. And today, we want to talk about the electoral process, which is ongoing in Cameroon. It started on the second uh, of January by law. The electoral registration process starts from the first of January and right up to the thirty-first of August this year, two thousand and twenty-three. Was launched on the fourth of January, two thousand and twenty-three. And when you look at the statistics put forward. Uh, by Elecam, we discovered that uh, we have an additional 7,229.98, uh, rather. We take the figures again, 7, 7 million, if I'm right. Uh, we have uh, a total number of 7,298,244 uh, voters that register as for 2022. We have uh, 3,905 642 who are men, giving a, a, a percentage of 54. We have uh, 3,392,000, 3, uh, 3, 542 who are women, giving 46 percent. And when you look at uh, 2, 757, 718 uh, young people who are into this, we have 334,205 uh, two, who are disabled, giving a percentage of 0 0.5. During the launching, uh, the Director General of ELECAM had this to say. Our aim is uh, to register the youth, because you know that youth is very important in our country for the development, also for the future. And also we want also to register the women, because it is also a potential in that uh, group. Also to register the person with the handicap and uh, also for the minority. So we think that if we can go in this way, we will continue to improve our electoral role and to organize a credible and a transparent election. Now, Sueba, you're listening to Dr. Eric Isuse saying that the aim this year, 2023, is to make more youth to register into the electoral youth, meaning that it has been noticed that youth don't register. They want to bring in the number of women 
Meaning that it has been also noticed that women don't register. But when you look at the population of Cameroon, we are about uh, 25 million uh, Cameroonians. And when you look at the total figure, we are not even up to 8 million, 7 million, 298,244 voters so far. Not even half of the population, we can just say one quarter of the Cameroonian population. I will know, like a political scientist that you are, you know the role election play when it comes to governance. Why this low turnout? Why this continuous voter appetite that we witness within Cameroonians? Some people even say that it's no longer voter appetite, but political alienation. Thank you very much, Abel. You see, uh, in our context, you see a country like us, Cameroon, we have elections. Elections have never changed anything in Cameroon. For example, I think uh, we have had two heads of states who came to power not through elections. You understand the fact that elections have never brought any concrete change in Cameroon makes it, uh, you know, the, 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 the registration to be timid. Cameroonians, especially the youths, don't believe in elections to bring change because we have never seen change brought by elections. You know, Cam Cameroonians lack, and especially the youths. You know, when you sent me the topic yesterday, I started discussing with... Uh, I was discussing with a few people, you know, when I met someone, I just discussed. And I was of the, most of them were of the opinion, the few that mm -hmm. I spoke to, none of them have registered. You understand, these are youths, yeah. all above 25 of age. None of them have registered. And when I asked, why have you not registered? You mm -hmm. understand, the, the answer was similar. It is needless. You understand, I'm talking about what uh, I, I asked about four or five people. And they gave me a similar answer. None of these people are registered. Five of them, they said it is needless. That they don't see any difference. Their registration won't bring any difference. That's to tell you that Cameroonians have actually lost the faith in the electoral procedure in Cameroon. Simply because the, 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 the procedure is not transparent. Cameroonians do not believe that elections can bring about the change or the most desired what do they believe in that they want you probably recession in this domain now that they have this strong political alienation they have already given up of the system but we know the rule election play we know that for us to have our uh, mayors we need to have uh, we need to elect them and for us to be able to to have um, uh, parliamentarians we need to elect them when young people when Cameroonians don't engage themselves how do we expect things to change around now, what they tell or what I get from the streets normally is this. If you register and you vote, you understand? Mm -hmm. The way this, the electoral system is, your votes won't count. You and I would know very well that for us to have change and for us to, for the political life of the state to go forward and to move on, we need elections. Mm -hmm. And that's what brings about the, the change changes, that yeah. we are looking for. But what we see uh, most often is... They bring up a list, mm -hmm. and that once the list has been validated, probably more, most often, by the ruling party, this particular list hardly loses the election. Look at the, 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 the percentage at which the present uh, head of state always wins. It's always 99 point. <laughs> you understand? It means that whether you and I register and vote, probably nothing will change because you will see win with 99 nice points. Like. Everybody complains. Mm -hmm. Every Cameroonian is complaining that things are not going. We need change. We need change. But to bring about that change, you have to register and then you have to vote. And there's a, there's a difference too. If you spoke about the figures that you're saying about uh, 7 million Cameroonians registered, mm -hmm. when it will be reached, when will be the time to vote, you find out that 3 million voted. Yeah. You understand? From out of the 7 million not registered, mm -hmm. 3 million are going to vote, which means 4 million registered voters did not vote. You understand we have a very serious problem and for that to change for that to change they, they need a lot of sensitization and the opposition is not uh, uh, providing any hopes because the opposition in cameroon does not provide hope for the youths maybe if they <coughs> when, when you want to look those figures slightly increased when cabral libby started with his uh, 11 million uh, which he did not even attend which, which he did not he did not attend but it boosted 
if you look at that particular period lots of youths were eager to register and they did register so we need somebody who can come up sensitize us and maybe and if it is not let me not be so severe but i think we need some sort of radical change if the system doesn't change, radical change in the minds of the youth for them to go register for, of the youth and maybe you know those who are there or those who have led us in the past i'm talking about the heads of state they didn't get there through a general election what i'm saying is cameroonians have never known you have never seen any change coming from an election so it is very difficult for you to hope in something that you've never seen it work okay jones is the problem the political parties that have uh, dissatisfied the population with their actions and works that is pushing this young these cameroonians in general to show little interest in registration into the electoral uh, process or the electoral list the problem is not the opposition party okay yes not the oppositions i've done a, then where, a, where a, lies the problem the problem is at the level of uh, two people one who have the electoral body in cameroon that is elecam i want to say that elecam has not done enough to prove to cameroonians and to the youths nowadays that uh, there can be a say they themselves they have a saying in the decision making of this country going to launch the the the, the electoral uh, process up there in the north i think it was in the north uh it's not an issue that is not enough for me opening an electoral uh, uh electoral registration center besides Sianto and waikile is not enough for me yes let me take for instance they need to do a lot of sensitization which means meeting the people where they are and that is why they go closer to the schools going to the schools is not enough <laughs> if the youth are on tiktok meet them on tiktok and how do you register them on tiktok now? go and say, talk with them on tiktok look how it's happening in nigeria almost all the popular comedians are encouraging nigerians to go and pick their pvc that is what it means to sensitize the youth and that is why we in the media also are organizing something like this the, media, the, 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 media, the media ever you and i we know that only about uh let me say for instance 10 percent of our today's youths follow the media like the radio and the televisions and programs like this you and i we know they are more on entertaining programs and uh, shows live shows that entertain them but they will never follow program like this another problem again is at the level of the state why do i say so the opposition party have presented an electoral reform they have presented changes that cameroonians think that they are worth to be um, inculcated into the system or into the electoral system why do they keep rejecting why do they keep refusing last year or so we saw how the duo uh, in, in, in Duala came and chased away um, um, uh, and not um, uh, an ngo that was working together with opposition parties they thought that was they were going to form a coup or whatever i don't know whereas they were bringing up electoral reforms proposing them to the state that these reforms can be made put in place so that people can see the transparency in this electoral system but no it's not it's, it's not the case why are they refusing those proposals because they know what they are hiding and so if that's the case i don't see reasons why people should go to the electoral post to register themselves secondly or oh, one of the last things i want to say is that when we register then at the end of the day we don't vote three million people go and vote you come around then there is a problem i don't think in a country we you're talking of 25 million mr eber this 25 million was given to me sometime around 2015. yes i don't think since 2015 to now cameroonians or 2018 19 cameroonians were still at 25 million we are more than 25 million when last did they do a census in cameroon they don't want to do the it. census a part of the problem it's part of the problem do a census and give us right figures so that we should know where we're going to but they don't want to do it so there is a there's a bigger problem and the last thing now is at our own level individuals those of us who go to the pools we don't go back to follow up the pools even though some of us stay back and at the end of it all they come and read results that <laughs> we, only, we don't know where the results are coming from so it's really there is no transparency in cameroon 
which has not given us that joy for elections okay let me just end by permit me quote the the, the usa has a new speaker in congress that is an election you saw how long that that process to do about uh, adjourning it right up to the 15th rank before they got the the person cameroon we are they should stop the government should stop telling us how the democracy in cameroon is so young I hate that statement. B has been in power for almost 40 years. I want to tell him that democracy in Cameroon. That's why, so, 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 Alba was drawing illustration to that. Is, is this still young? Are we saying that democracy in Cameroon is still young like this? The, the case. They keep saying every day that we. The democracy. democracy in Cameroon started in the 90s. But they keep saying it's young. But we are still very young. 90 to today. Is but we are using iPhones, that we, no, we are using no, iPhones no, no, and other technologies it, that came in that, three years that ago. Fantasy have to come to you. It's, 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 it's unheard of. <laughs> I don't see what is difficult for them to bring in, copy the new things. Every day they spend money sending people to Canada, America to go and learn things and then they come and they don't implement them. It's bullshit. But when they implement, you people don't register. What are they implement? What have they implemented? Have you registered? Yes. Do you have your voters card? Yes. Have you synthesized those around you to also do the same? I have done that. <laughs> and why didn't they register? They don't want to register because there's no hope in the ballot box. They don't. How do they intend to bring the hope when they don't want to register? Because the people up there who, who are <coughs> calling on people to be patriotic are not patriotic. Yes, so yeah, but before I take a man. One, one thing, let me, let me be quick about yes. it. You see, the, 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 the organ in charge of organizing elections in Cameroon, I think many youths and many Cameroonians don't believe in the independence of elections Cameroon. Because... But it is an independent no. body by it law. It is not by law. It is independent. Created by but law. When you look at giving them all the powers to carry out elections think, successfully in Cameroon. No, I, I think there are other mechanisms. So you are suggesting for us to remove the body? No, no. There are, other, mecha there, body? There are other mechanisms to set Good. up and put up a more transparent and independent electoral uh, election uh, electoral body, yes. which can include involve all political parties and all stakeholders. But political for parties are members of the camp. No, no. You yeah. cannot single-handedly mm. appoint. Uh, uh, leaders, leaders of uh, of an institution, and you think that particular institution people have faith in it? Okay. That, that, and the end of it all is that even we're going now today. We talk when we talk about elections this year. We're looking at the Senate, right? Look at what is happening in the Senate. The president of the Senate right now is an appoint. He's appointed, not elected. We elect our members. You go and pick someone who. But the Senate is not direct sovereignty. Why? Why should it not be? Because yes, it is not direct. But those who those who form the the, the electoral college are those that be elected, have them, been elected by us. And if you Meaning don't register, what they say is what we carry. If you yes. don't register, if you don't register to vote, the councillors that will go and vote the senators. What do you expect? What do you expect? Let an Number elected an elected senator be at the helm, not an appointed senator. You and I know what it means. We'll appointment. be finding out what if the I appoint you here, you'll we'll be, be talking about, about the idea. Senate. We'll find out that. Lambert, you are a, somebody that works closely with youths. Do you always tell them to register? What are their problems? And why are they refusing to register in the electoral uh, list? Why are young people scaring the way? Uh, Mr. Eber, I always have a problem anytime I go on a platform like this. Yeah especially when i find myself among the or oh, i see myself sitting in front of with uh, the opposition uh, parties because uh, they have their principles okay Anytime, you are not a member of the opposition you're a member of the ruling party that's what you're no, telling wait, us no yeah. i i'm not saying that you know me very, very well okay. I, I don't belong to any political party <laughs> yes i have my voters card so what I is vote. the problem let me come yeah i was saying that i have a problem with them because anytime they come on a platform like this they the, will never say anything that would disfavor them okay if you want to look into what causes this youth at times and he the, the voters they just, the opposition the political lineage the man from the popular action party just mm -hmm. said the problem is not the opposition party yes but he forgets to understand that the problem could be 50 percent the opposition party and 50 percent the state okay i am not saying that the state is, is, is yes how the state how is how, how the First, yes and the opposition party the way they behave these are people we interact with in the society okay how do they behave their behavior towards others is a problem he they are talking about sensitization the 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 elecam or elecam was uh, in betwa i was in betwa they mm -hmm. launched uh, <laughs> yeah the launching took place in betwa at least you know that they were in betwa trying to do something yes. i wish to know apart from at platform i always quote the cpdm because the cpdm I, they do and i see yeah even though i'm not a member of the cpdm yes you observe they, they carry out sensitization these other opposition parties to 
tell you the truth. Maybe they are carrying it out where I've not seen, mm-hmm. but I don't see them carrying out this sensitization. But we have opposition parties that but when they, they organize rally, part- they complain that they invite elecam officials. They don't come for the rally. Or sometimes they demand them for money. I don't know. Do job. They also complain that organized uh, rallies. They, they tell they, you that it has not been approved. No, I don't know why. There is most a, often there is a procedure, please. I remember I had an encounter with somebody. Meetings. Meetings. Uh, yes, every person, I had an encounter. I had an encounter. I had an encounter with somebody. Parties headquarters. I had yes. a do organize meeting. In the party, Doing that photo, you can invite the elector to come I had, the members of I had an encounter. Party. I had an encounter with somebody who left here without greeting me because I said <laughs> that when you organize such meetings, there are meetings that oh, they are. Uh, events that when you organize, you must take an authorization either from the divisional officer or for the senior divisional officer. From the sen- yes, but I remember that I have had issues with people because I try to remember. Now let's come back to the election. Now, our youth may not want to register because it is true they do not believe. Yeah, in May is the election. Yes, they do not believe in the fact that our election is um, uh, uh, independent. I have not seen anywhere in, co- in the country where they have never accused either the electoral even the, the United United States. States. Everywhere. Everywhere. The only thing we need to do is to carry out strict sensitization. Okay. In our association, we carry out sensitization. We tell them we, yes. the importance of elections. Yes. Why they need to register. And we do it's that good. with example. As I'm talking to you, I have my electoral card. I go, I vote. You understand? I will not only come here and I nail people and I start saying that the regime has done this, the regime. What have the opposition done to they, the only thing they do is writing petition, writing petition upon petition. They could take another strategy if they discover that writing petition has not been enough. You are like saying that what has the opposition done yes. to promote uh, the, what the, have the militants? They com- like okay. Now, they have complained about Elecam, mm-hmm. that Elecam is not doing uh, uh, very much. Mm-hmm. What have they done to, accom- right. to let, accompany let, Elecam in the process? Let me, let me, what let me have they done to, to accompany Elecam? There. They are talking but, about uh uh, pull, um, uh in um, in nigeria mm-hmm. well, I, I i follow many of these comedians in nigeria yeah. but i wish to tell you that most of these comedians are being paid by they belong to political parties mm-hmm. and well, these political you, parties you, you, sponsor them to promote such we what have the opposition done let them also do same all right now talking about the opposition if you if you look at it very well and the, the, I, I wish cannot, to tell you that you, these you cannot, comedians they do not vote one party they do not vote one party but they are recommending everybody to the, it's not like they, 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 they are encouraging the youths yes. of nigeria to go and pick up their pvc and not because, that senators go and vote yes i didn't say that they and are because they sides. belong to particular yes parties, and, and, and is that right is not a civil right and it is just no, right. why, why is it a problem why should you the opposition not go closer to the why is the elecam not them? doing it is, is it is the duty of the elecam uh, 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 do that elecam is, elecam is not perfect we are not saying that it is perfect but okay. it's trying its best we got anyway you. i i i, I, I was not coming to counteract your point that's i was only quoting co- 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 something here concerning let's, opposition yes let me, com- let me just say something when you don't see the opposition in the field at times yes well look look at what is happening in the environment like the presidential election. So what are you proposing? How many, men, how many men opposition parties boycotted elections? Okay. You expect them to boycott elections and go and and, and, and go out there? Why okay. do you why did you boycott elections? Thank you, gentlemen. Because it's a exactly. problem and that exactly. aspect alone, boycotting elections should call for an attention. It let's, is a signal uh, let's, let's, that something is not right. Let, that should be handled. And who just should they boycotted elections because just of, let's get the because of the Anglophone crisis uh-huh. and they said it should be solved so that everybody should feel free to go to the north, go to the north and south to do their campaigns. Okay, but it was not just, the case. Just, just quickly, Evan, yes. maybe maybe uh, five my seconds, co- five my, seconds. Yeah, my co-panelist might have taken me for an opposition or whatsoever. No, no, no. no. But I didn't make mention here that the opposition <clears throat> is not giving us any hopes, okay. and that is true. The opposition have to work. It is the work of the opposition to end. St- to sensitize and encourage Cameroonians to, to register massively and vote, and then stay there for the votes to be counted. Okay. And they are not doing that. And not depend Thank only you. on the elecam. Thank you. What? Thank when you, they you do that, the the I am I'm the moderator. Said, yes. Jones, I am the moderator. They, talk when I give you the, 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 yes. the, 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 the mandate to talk. Yes. Eh? Yes. I know you are a gentleman. Mm. And the gentleman that you are, you are going to understand. Frankly, what do you think we should do? Because we heard that the government is not doing its job. The opposition is not doing its job. And what us, like Cameroonians, what should we do at this point so that we register ourselves into the electoral list? Abel, 
your question is trying to shift my mind from what I was about to say, <laughs> but that will not that will not stop me from saying it. How to win the hearts of Cameroonians to go in for the to go in massively for votes? First thing first, let's change the leaders. Bear with me. When Cabral Libby was doing his own million campaign, you saw the increase in the number of of, 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 uh, of voters, mm -hmm. which means a new face coming in brings in new hopes. You will not tell me that somebody that I was born. How should we change the leaders if not change through elections? Leaders? Wait, each and every political party should. And for us to go to elections, we need to register them. Can you let me talk? I'm, I'm with you. Each and every political party should go in, should go back and revive the, their constitu constitution. We should forget this issue of natural uh, candidate. How do they call them? No. Those people that we have been seeing their faces time and again. No. When you change your leader, there is hope for people that know it's a different person. Bear with me. I always say that uh, the change in SDF, the last time change, was not an effective change because the person in question is not as active as the chairman who stepped down from being the candidate. If he was an, an active guy like Cabral Libri, we would have seen a great change. He's someone that he's or even nature. And, even nature. What trying to say? and the SDF did not make us understand that chairman was not going to be candidate. That is it. When the elections were already getting we were getting closer to Get, the election, closer to, to, that he was. That is what I'm saying. That as chairman was calling for uh, 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 the, the meeting this season, as he was going to cover the convention, they should check into all these things. Secondly, mm -hmm. there should be transparency. Transparency. In yes, there should be transparency. Just imagine that a Lekam Cameroon, the Constitutional Council, then. The, 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 the Ministry of Territorial Administration and the CBDM, I think they are children of the same mother. Because when you look at what happened in the last presidential election, I know of a polling station where we counted the votes. An opposition party won. We had pictures that we snapped. They, they were ready when they, when they are in the votes in the evening, they will tell you that this party is this, this. But by the time the Constitutional Council was declaring the general elections, they gave different results. So tell me that if we know that this is what we are voting and is happening, what will prompt a, a young guy nobly to keep his bike down to go and, right. uh, to go and register? Okay. It's only those of us who are struggling just to see change just, that we are to work. Fidel uh, Sanders says saying. greetings, uh, Tita Ibe. Happy New Year to everybody in the studio. Thank you very much. Uh, we got your message. Yes, before That's I say what that I was talking about the radical change. You understand? We, the need, radical we change. need a new face that will come up and bring something new. Cameroonians are tired of seeing the same faces telling them to go and register. Nessie and Lambis. Nessie Lambis, they say the procedures that leads to the election is sometimes too cumbersome in Cameroon that discourage people to register. When you register, when you go in for registration, you register, the card is not given to you immediately. And sometimes for people to come back, it poses a serious problem. Some people even say that the locations of the electcams office are very far away from, 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 from the potential uh, uh, registers. How should we solve this issue of election so that we fall within the norms? So that every Cameroonian who got interest in registering an election, knowing that for us to have successful government, for us to have development, we need to put the right people at the right place. Hmm. Uh, 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 Cameroonians uh, are no fools. I love my brothers and sisters because uh, they're enlightened, they're educated, they have a whole lot of awareness. That is why they don't register? There can never be massive registration of Cameroonians when there is a seek for a regime change. Cameroonians will go live from here and check to Mbamayo to go and register if there is a system change. All the political parties are there for a regime change and they get to power, they do the same thing that people now are doing. The President of the Republic was elected by Cameroonians, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. and he works on his own platform and his program that he brought. Yeah. Political parties out of power cannot dictate to him what to do. They don't tell him what to do. Don't tell the president I want you to do that. Is the president satisfied with the number of voters. What I'm saying is, listen. What I'm saying is, yes. Political parties of the opposition, they don't dictate to the president of the republic what he needs to do. Okay. Before he was elected in office, he has his own agenda. Yeah, no. Now, if you are telling the president what to do, it means in a nutshell you are the president. If you tell the president do this, and the president is doing what you are telling him. It means that you are the president. It's proposal. So what I'm saying, a proposal, you take or you leave it. And if I don't take your proposal, it's not a, it's not a problem. Yes, obviously. So don't always bring your proposals. And if your proposals are not taken, and then it becomes what? A problem. a problem. Now, all the political parties in Cameroon, they want a change of the electoral code. And nobody is talking about a change of the constitution. It means that if today Mr. X is voted into power, as per the constitution, that Mr. X is going to appoint member of a and they will do the same thing. He, 
plays the pipe part dictate the tune. It means that if they want to change in this country, we should start from the constitution. The members of the political of the opposition party they want a regime change. They want uh, things to be ameliorated in the electoral code so that they come into power and do the same thing that the current party in power is doing. So it for, means for, that for what you are if saying, if you vote a member of the opposition party into power and the constitution is not changed as per the constitution the president of the republic appoints member of elections cameroon mm -hmm. and he's going to do that and he will place the pipe pad dictate the tune it means that these people will be responsible to be answerable to you without you telling them to do so because they know that if they don't if they are going to remove if them. i can put a lean uh uh Alban, the political scientist says that why cameroonians don't show interest mm -hmm. in the vote editing exercise is because since independent there have never been a forum where from aijo to bia there have not been a situation where they have seen the veritable changes that comes with electing new officials mm -hmm. and you are coming to say it is system if the system is not changed but we go in for regime change like what most Cameroonians are clamoring Political is not going leaders. to solve the problem of voter appetite yes. that's about to get it is that what you are saying yes Tell us. because now the, the, now the, what is the difference between a system change and a regime change if we now, might know so that you will publish us how is the system change preventing us Cameroonians not to register what i'm saying is yes go and do a census you are a journalist ask Cameroonians even if the president president leave the power and they bring another person it's the same thing that's what they're saying and they are not lying it's true i'm saying that if the constitution is changed like Vib and uh, jones was saying mm -hmm. that we should not have a president of the senate who is appointed but i'm saying that the constitution has given the president of the republic the but, discretion to yeah. appoint 30 senators. senators and from the moment you appoint a senator and a senator who is elected they are all senators and mm -hmm. the senators they vote their president yeah. so you cannot come and tell them that senators please i want a president who is elected and not an appointed no, you don't dictate. Okay. You don't tell them what to do yeah. because they are acting within the ambit of, of the, the law. law. The president of the Senate was voted as the president, and he was a, uh, appointed, appointed as a senator. So there is no problem that, about that. So what I'm saying is, you need to remove those powers from the president. If he's complaining that the president of the Senate was appointed, start with the constitution that the mm -hmm. president of the Republic should not appoint senators. So at that time, you will never have an appointed senator who is a president of the Senate. That's true. But none of the political party leaders are okay, talking about a constitutional change. Now, the president of the Republic has the power to appoint members of a leg camp. That is, that is his discretion of the constitution. But these political leaders are not saying it. It means that if you vote them into office, okay, they will come and they appoint their own people to be in a camp. The other political parties will be saying that these people are biased. Mm -hmm. So we continue in the same light. So what we need in Cameroon is a system change and not a regime change. If we change the system, people will go to look for, I don't know, where a yeah. is. Yeah. And again, it's not the duty of a Lekam to sensitize Cameroonians to go and register. No. Okay. It's the duty of the civil society, of the political parties, yes. and any other organization, and not a Lekam. A Lekam is there waiting for you to come and, and it do oversees the registration. The election. It's not a Lekam to come and tell you, please come and register. No. Political parties need to sensitize their members and highest uh, uh, people who registered into the ele uh, electoral register yeah. are not political partisan people. people. Yeah. They are people of the civil society. society. I, for example, have an electoral card. I don't belong to any political party. Yeah. I want to look at it critically. The highest number of people who vote don't belong into any, any political, political party. party. It means that I can vote in a minis uh, uh, municipal election, a different political party. Yes, it depends on how I am being seduced by this political, political leaders, party. Yeah. So the highest voters are not even people who belong to a political party. Now, it needs to be ripe to do politics and not party politics the party politics in cameroon is not helping us cameroonians when they get ready when we, when we have a, a, a system change you will see uh, that uh, part uh, voters apathy is going to to increase and people will be canvassing to go and i don't know look for where uh, lecam is and then they can thank, do thank you very much for that uh, uh, wonderful you, suggestion you, you uh, see, rapidly few seconds yeah, what just, are we proposing uh, just just in a few seconds yes you see what, Why waiting the, for the system change what, what or the regime change? What Lambris is saying, at this point in time? What Lambris is saying is very correct. But the problem now is how do we change the system or how do the constitution get changed? Good. Because for the constitution for us to change the constitution, 
the the, the mechanisms and the, the laws yeah the, it can pass through the parliament yeah and those who are in parliament are not willing or they are not ready for the constitution to be changed yeah. so even if the opposition talks from now to tomorrow or till the next year nothing will change not necessarily but uh, uh, you understand and then the civil society is not given the opportunity normally we are supposed to propose uh, laws mm -hmm. to parliament and for a constitution to be changed they should organize a referendum maybe he should be telling us that the part all the political opposition parties should rather boycott until we organize a referendum <laughs> change the constitution and if, then we organize if, elections if, if, if at all these are our political parties that we know uh, will be able to boycott if 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 the political for propaganda for now from all the political parties was a referendum and then i will support that idea that will first of all organize a referendum and try to bring some amendments exactly and, and supplementation of our constitution before we start talking about the electoral code and they will be better but all of them they ignore the constitution and they are fighting just for the electoral code because it's only the electoral code that's going to put them mm -hmm. into power and don't blame the, the party in power especially the president of the republic he's just using the like i said the president of the republic is a legal and a constitutional dictator because you have two ways for you to change the constitution either passing through parliament or a referendum and he sees that going through parliament favors him he goes the way that favors him and he's not uh, 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 against the law it is legal for him to ask a constitutional change through parliament where he knows that you have a, a, a very easy right rather than going to to, to a referendum so what i'm suggesting is that the political parties should be canvassing for a referendum so that some uh, 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 sections of the constitution be removed okay the president of the republic have a whole lot of power given thank to you. him by the constitution thank you very much gentlemen we'll move to our second subject of the day and our second subject of the day we want to talk about uh, this uh, end of year message of president paul bia who doing uh his end of year call on uh, the continuous fight for corruption and incivility in Cameroon. but before we dive into discussion i would like us to listen to the head of state in this message i talked about the need to strengthen governance in the management of public affairs and to control government spending rest assured that this concern is constant and unwavering. I also want to reiterate that those who are illicitly amassing wealth by plundering the state at whatever level will be brought to book. I urge all Cameroonians, regardless of their social standing, to resolutely embark on this crusade and I have fled over the years. Everyone at his or her level should act with integrity and safeguard and common will. It is only through working collectively, decisively and resolutely that we will be able to overcome the corruption persisting in our society. You have certainly noticed, like me, growing incivility, violence, and disregard for basic social norms or established order in our towns and in the countryside. Such behavior cannot be tolerated in the state of law. Those who take delight in disrupting social order whether young or old will answer for such conduct before the competent courts i am therefore appealing to all especially parents and educators to take up the responsibility of fully restoring basic moral values and respect for public order Thank you very much. All of us, we have just listened to the head of state talked about the, those who continue to emancipate words, those who continue to practice this issue of corruption and this corruption that has led to total incivility in the country. He says it is time for us to put an end 
to this aspect. We are talking about uh, social corner on topics and realities. Lambi Nelson, I begin with you because you 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 are you were the last speaker and you are a legal man where we talk about the fight against corruption, where we talk about the fight against incivility in Cameroon. It has to do a lot with a legal system. Does this law really guarantee uh, what the president is saying? Because for over two decades today, we are talking about uh, the fight against corruption. And they said, uh, when you look at even an article published, they said corruption has permitted uh, the, 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 the corrupt body to be corrupted in the fight against corruption. <laughs> so you see, everybody that wants to fight against corruption is found in the, in the, in, in, in the rumbling of corruption. Those are laws, really. Guarantee us this fight that the president is trying to wage against uh, this ill in our society. Uh, 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 I want to start by saying that I listened to the President of the Republic in French and I'm still waiting the day that the President of the Republic will speak in English but I had a voice I don't know the person who is well, talking Peter, I, 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 I don't know I don't know I don't know I, I don't know it is not official I don't know I don't want to believe that uh, the it's voice official. was official you spoke on uh, the 31st of December he translated Ebel, the Ebel. To the president we listening to him in English Ebel, Bella, Samari. yes you gave me the floor allow me to talk i'm listening if you have an evidence proof or fact of ever seeing peter isuka live on tv talking then you disprove me i have never seen him i've been hearing voice all the time and people say so i had to check to see if there's an official statement making it official legal that he's the one who is supposed to talk in english over the voice of the president of the republic in in french i have never seen it i have never seen his face but i've always been hearing See, what, a what, voice what we are saying that what it's not me it's wanting not, it's not it's me not wanting i am it's asking illegal. i'm asking if you have it and then you disprove me let's uh, forget about that uh, i think uh, fighting corruption in cameroon is is is, is a serious uh, uh, issue it's, it's a serious issue and, and 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 the state of this country is doing something that is is wrong if you want to go as per the norms the legal norms the hierarchical norms of of, of cameroon the first is the constitution the second is is, is the legislation and a presidential decree may find herself at the fourth or, or, or the third uh, position but today the fight against corruption is made on on statement and it's not made on, on on legal norms you are supposed to start by fighting corruption from the fundamental law of this country known as the constitution by using the article 66 of the constitution talking about declaration of assets they will know that you are sincere in the fight of fight against Correct. corruption but you ignore the fundamentals and you follow the shadow that you want to fight corruption i think we that are the just law uh, gave uh, him the discretion to apply whatever type of law at his own time that's what i'm saying so the that is within his law that's what i'm saying that and maybe the, he said this is the time i have to apply some the of constitution the constitution is 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 the fundamental and it is the constitution that is given the president of the republic that uh, legality for us to respect him as the president of the republic and you cannot ignore what actually gave you the pass to do that and if you go as per our penal code uh, uh Bella Samari, any person who embezzled 500 thousand francs from the state coffers and you are proven beyond reasonable doubt of being guilty and then you spend the rest of your life in prison but the president of the republic came with something known as a special criminal tribunal and uh taking people who steal 50 million francs and above to that tribunal and they treat you specially and when you shamefully accept that you stole from the state coffers and you want to refund the money and then you'll be set free if you were the one you will not steal five hundred thousand francs you will take a from 50 million francs and above and the day they ask you you bring the money back and you are sent home so but the person saying, who steals five hundred thousand francs even if you agree to refund the money you still go to jail so in a nutshell are we fighting corruption or we are promoting corruption those that are listening to us i don't know if they understand what is happening so the special back. criminal tribunal is there to judge people who steal specially Mm -hmm. And the person who still maybe one hundred thousand francs in the quarter go to jail for mm -hmm. the rest of five hundred thousand francs. Sorry, now you steal millions, millions, billions even, and then they take you to a special criminal tribunal, mm -hmm. and you are judged specially when you shamefully accept, and okay. then you refund the money and you go back free. We got are you we fighting. So wherever you are into governance and policy, are we, like Nelson said, really to fight corruption in Cameroon? Why the deep-rooted culture of corruption amongst Cameroonians? You see, Abel, if we fight corruption, if we start fighting corruption today, as in real fighting corruption, 
You see the leaders we have today? We won't have them. What do you mean? Corruption has permitted those who are governing us to remain in power and continue governing us. They so are there. It's a governance policy now. They are there thanks to corruption. Let us be clear. <laughs> let me let me let me tell you something. See, when you look at the salaries of our civil servants, teachers and medical doctors are those who are highly paid. But you see, teachers and medical doctors are those who go on strike complaining about uh, allowances not being paid and then you know the way they they, 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 they treat them is not fair but you you see police officers these are civil servants custom officers these are civil servants uh, those of the taxation those are civil servants but you never hear them planning a strike action or trying to strike that's to tell you that they don't do this because they benefit from corruption a police officer if they remove them from the roads or what they do in the various uh, police stations it's scandalous thus they survive thanks to corruption and if they start fighting corruption now these people will equally start coming up with uh, uh, strike they will start planning their own strike just imagine that the, 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 the police officers start their own strike teachers join uh, custom officers they join the strike do you, do you think the system the governing body will remain that's when we'll have a change but things that cannot be done we can only talk about it just like the head of state did we, he has been talking about fighting corruption for long if you and i know very well that his policy was that of rigor and moralization but 40 years after 40 years after we the, the, our society is getting rotten and it is worsening because if you come to power and you say you just there will be rigor and moralization means that 40 years later we have very upright cameroonians who are morally upright and rigorous and when we talk about being rigorous when, when we go to work look at the way our system functions you go to your public office if you don't chip in something you are not attended to when you go to any public office here most of these uh, ministries there are people who loiter around and immediately are coming they start asking you what services do you want as if you don't know what you came for you understand and these are the people who help to channel the the, the, the corruption and to make it to stay you cannot a corrupt person cannot fight corruption the regime and everything or those who are to be fighting the corruption those who are charged to fight corruption they are corrupt so how are they going to fight the corruption now the head of state might be willing to do it you understand mm -hmm. but let us be honest with ourselves he is aging he's old and it cannot permit somebody who doesn't have that strength mm -hmm. to move from office to office and do the control okay now john they say the slow implementation of reforms especially uh corruptions reforms is the best word for the continuous happening of corruption in our society and this has created the incivility that we have because everybody now can do whatever thing he wants to do as long as you have the money to pay the price uh, <laughs> what i want to say is uh, a little bit difficult but we have to take it um from the time we were born some of us were born right up to who we are what we are and uh, i want to remember we used to we were told first and foremost that uh if you are unable to learn french forget about having good jobs in cameroon you will never have a good job in cameroon and so we we grew up with that mentality so we had people have to learn French left, right, center. I'm just screening from where um, uh, my brother was talking about the fact that uh, we have a head of state who had never addressed me in person in English for over 40 years. I don't know if it's that. Uh, but does that really pose a problem? It, it poses a problem. In the fight against corruption? Well, no, I'm coming to that. You know, it, it is really unheard of that if the translator, whosoever is translating, is not around it means my grandmother in the village or my father in the village will not understand what i have no, somebody will be there administration well, is continuous <laughs> so now the corruption we're talking about abel 
it, it has it has gone so deep in our system so much so that if we need to fight this corruption we need to first of all start thinking of the constitution to fight this corruption i mean it has it has gone too deep so much so that even a mere discipline master in a school in a government school is making a lot of money from corruption i don't know i was just following the uh, the report that connac published in 2021 to see the kind of sanctions and the kind of corrupt practices that head teachers find themselves in in schools i mean head teachers in you hear places like logona sharing some kind of places where you don't expect but you hear head teachers involving in corrupt acts and and and, and then we come here the sanctions I, I see there is that uh they have been suspended of duty and, and and things like that you know all the syst all the committees or the system that have been put in place to fight this thing in cameroon i'm not seeing what they're doing go to the uh, um, uh, territorial administration no start from the connect itself go to the supreme state audit bench uh, uh, and all of those people i don't see what actually they are doing what are they putting in place to stop the people who are already because last year the head of state mentioned this the fight against corruption uh, the fight against last year we did not see the measures that were put in place to fight the corruption this year he brought it back again we are still not seeing any measures apart from the fact that so just this song. it's the same song i mean it, it can be a different dance but the same song it is really unheard of that the corrupt the corrupt at cameroon can be heard at the national scene first when it comes to corruption the fight against corruption in cameroon is very very in fact it has not seen the limelight they need to start fighting this thing from the top not even from the bottom from the top because when we see our leaders doing what's right i believe that we'll start doing what's right i'm not saying that we should do the wrong things because our leaders are doing the wrong things but they are the people that everyone is watching okay they are the people that everyone is looking up to like nelson said you cannot embezzle 500 billion six billion ten billion the day you accept to give the money you are being released so who, so but there is a way you put that shamefully which is very correct mean that the state have disgraced you and everybody where does the money go to? where does the money go to first okay let, let me key in in uh in uh uh, uh is it the end up subdivision if i'm not mistaken where one my my junior sister is teaching there so the uh, they have um, government teachers whose salaries have been suspended up to eight months suspended their salaries up to eight months by the senior division officer of that zone claiming that the teachers are not coming to school yeah when the matter reached yaounde madame nalova refused that she has not approved the suspension of any teachers down there based on that magnitude so the question i was mr Dio, where is that money that you're suspending people's salary going to there was no answer nothing has been done about that nobody said anything about that in cameroon i mean what, what are we saying i mean it has gone that deep and that bad that we need fasting and prayers national fasting and prayers and cleansing in fact i don't know how it's going to look like but uh, they we need to change everything in this country to fight corruption <laughs> yes sir uh, she lambert we, we we are talking about corruption but when you go in all the government sectors we have a, 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 a service that permits to fight against corruption. And when I read an article uh, written, I would prefer to keep the person's name anonymous. He says that the development of corruption in the fight, in the fight against corruption, he explained that this is certainly a fundamental problem. How do you want successfully fight an evil rooted in oneself? He says that some of the body created to fight against corruption and even the one promoting the fight, uh, promoting the, the aspect corruption. of corruption. Yes. How can we solve this issue in our society? For more than two decades, we have been talking about it, but nothing is changing. Uh, Mr. Abel, you see, uh, the government have been trying its best, but not really that best. Good. Not The best is not enough. But now, let me come down to our normal society. We, we will always condemn the government for not uh, eliminating or fighting against corruption to its utmost best but we forget to understand that uh, uh, we we also at the lower level need to do more than by, by not let giving out the corruption let me, let me let me take for example yes uh, i'm with you mr jones talk about a head teacher or whosoever who i understand him now i remember that uh, when you want to register a child in a dc for example they ask you to buy a 
a bench or they ask you to buy something yeah, yeah. they say buy a bench and that is close to a hundred uh, thousand francs now you who is a parent and accept to pay this amount of money means you are okay with that why can't you call the authorities or why can't you signal authorities that and is, say this that is why is hand. it that i'm supposed to pay normally school fees in in public school is thirty five thousand francs yes. for secondary school yeah. why can't you call the authorities and complain that they are asking one hundred thousand francs for me to register my child in the school but you come here to complain about the state you go on the street or you are driving you have all your uh, your, your, your 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 particulars and the policeman stopped you and he is insisting on you giving him 500 francs you if you are on the right track why don't you report we have numbers that have been put in place by the state that call this in case of this call this number i have their their numbers for 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 conac yeah. there are numbers for for oh, for for right. in, in uh, excess prices of goods and services but some people say that I, I have a message so here he why that can't you call when they report some of these issues the authorities go instead of fighting against the corruption they collect the money i would have loved that when we are discussing you uh, i would have loved that when we if we are discussing here mm -hmm. we should be discussing with uh with facts that you have called an authority he refused to solve the issue and rather collected the money from the person I get me. Mm -hmm. Most if, often, when if, you report if, those kind of cases, if, how do you prove them? If, if because us, the leader, if the, the us at the lower the level, tell Mr. Bella, mm -hmm. Mr. Eben, yeah, if yeah, us at the lower level, if us at the lower level, we start reacting so Violent radical to, 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 to as corruption. far as this corrupt activities is concerned, then we shall we, we will solve this issue. We are the main problem. See, if at our own level we cannot fight against corruption, we cannot report these cases. It means that if we are at that position we Would shall continue with the process like that are we the problem in the we fight against corruption um, um, uh, franklin we are the problem starting from the present right to the child who is still to be born mm -hmm. because you and cannot is the unborn child a problem let me tell you about back home in the villages there where i for one i know what i used to do and when i grew up i realized that that was bribery and corruption okay. the moment grandma will send you somewhere you twist your way on the way you know that she lost color notes you first go and look for color notes when you are coming in you give her color notes so that she will not more hammer on you the way she, sh she will have hammered on you no on normal cases that is corruption it is already in the blood what we have to do now is like uh, my, br my brother Sheila made is saying mm -hmm. for those of us who use it, who use the streets especially drivers make sure you have all your documents in in, a, in such a way that when any policeman is controlling you everything is intact one other thing that makes us to promote uh, corruption is i don't have my documents ah i prevent my 500 francs. we re we don't so respect procedure that how will you well, because when we're talking about corruption here people always think of higher embezzlement when when meanwhile at the basis we are promoting it you go to a school to a secondary school they say that no for us to admit this to a child these are the this is the, the, the average he has to has this is this, 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 this. you come there with a the child with a lower average you and please you the principal behind and in. say principal just hold this one now let's manage it like that one thing that makes the principal or other board to take the 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 the, the 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 money is because we are living under hardship i repeat price of everything is increasing but no price no salary is increasing you don't expect somebody to come and meet you know john is, is a teacher imagine john's daughter is in the hospital and they are looking you know how, how our government hospitals do treat they are asking for two hundred and thirty thousand. So to fight against corruption we should increase salaries of uh, Cameroonians. we should increase salaries and other Cameroonians too they should also make sure that every document should be should, uh, uh, everything should be straight because women to meet a, a headmaster whose daughter is in the hospital uh, at, uh, in the emergency and you are proposing one hundred thousand pounds to give to him and he knows that when he takes this money he will save the daughter's life he will take it because at times people do do people are corrupt not because they want to be but because of the situation they find themselves in the guy the, the head teacher at the in, in at the logan and shari i cannot blame him for corruption you know our government very well they will post you somewhere and forget you until <laughs> you follow up your salary you will not see so tell me someone who's living in a village where there's no network no electricity no good water nothing he is just near there maybe he's, he's sleeping in the in the classroom like a friend of mine who's sleeping in the, in the classroom up there he doesn't know, know any house the only thing he has to do is to try to manipulate people's brain in order to eat so one one other thing that first uh, one other thing that we need to do is that the cameroonian government should think of cameroonians we should look at what we are producing if it is not enough how can we manage it so that everyone can be happy when you get into a house when everyone takes two two cups go around you hear the stories flowing that's how cameroon needs to be needs to be functioning like people who believe they eat one thing at the same level and everyone is happy 
that will er automatically will not even hearing of this thing of corruption because how can you be giving me what i have what we have what two of us have we'll be looking on how can we use this thing and grow up together that is how we need to live because um, you cannot raise a snake you cannot buy a you go and pick a small snake from the from the bush come and raise it and expect that one day it will not bite you so the president is just crying what he's crying because his children are turned against him how what can we do to, to okay like lambris was saying if our president could declare his goods according to uh, section 66 of the constitution if, if he could declare everything he had in 2017 when we had the presidential election before coming in they will know that now we are fighting corruption why did he not and when you are asking you say you still a president so there are things that we always say that charity begins at home yeah let him begin by declaring his assets from there we'll go to each and every minister of state just write down so to whoever rapidly we are concluding what should we take back you know in the fight against corruption conclusively yes. Abel, it's a it's a very difficult fight and it might last as long as we do not educate Cameroonians because everything lies within us okay we are the ones promoting corruption exactly as uh, Shay Jones was saying you, you have to if you refuse to be to bribe someone the person won't take you anywhere stand by your right and maybe corruption Will drop and this corruption is not only at the top yeah it starts from the let me we, when we're talking when we're complaining about that olembe mm -hmm. olembe system let me just be very quick about that you'll be surprised to find out that those who are working there probably as uh, those who are serving mortar we are stealing bags of cement mm -hmm. and selling you understand mm -hmm. stealing some and selling because wow. this, this so, is another development no that's what happens you understand so they start stealing money from the top right to the bottom and that's why we find most of our contracts or most of our projects are incomplete especially those constructs constructing roads they'll be constructing a road and the chief or the the, 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 the head of the, the area will say how can you construct a road and pass here and i'm living in a house that is not cemented are you but you give me my own share well i'll give you my own rapidly share we are moving now let's just take this call i will be concluding for us hello uh, good evening, Mr. Hazel. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, this is just calling from Yaoundé. Oh, good! Yeah. It has been a long time. And it's really a long time. Happy and welcome year. back to Cameroon. Thank you. Yes, you are uh, concluding the program for us. Yeah, I've been following, although I've not been calling. Okay, let me just uh, first say good evening and happy new year to your family. Thank you very much on their behalf. Yeah, uh, talking about corruption, I don't think... Uh, I will talk about corruption and talk about not being the body that was supposed to fight against corruption I have because I don't see any I don't see how somebody that is corrupt or a is an institution that is corrupt itself can fight against corruption. I do you know something about uh Connac? Unless you tell us in the creation of Connac, they ne they did not give them an office. Before they had to have to, to oh, before they had to have an office, they had to let me just use the word choco. They tell they have to write. But they, they gave them my details as a mark. So, which means from the onset, them also are also corrupt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Uh, yes, uh, you, you are concluding. Yes, I was saying that, uh, that one of the first things to be done is uh, even though we are complaining about the CONAC, they let them give CONAC the ability to persecute. And uh, secondly, I think the head of state or the constitution or whosoever that is in charge should set mechanisms to fight this. Uh, thank you connect so much so that because everybody fight uh, corruption. Fight corruption thank sorry. you so much so that everybody should be aware we are, we are out of time one million, Lambis, one minute you are dead Full yes stop. 30 seconds we're out of corruption uh, punishment is to set an example yes like jones jones is saying in the in in china mm -hmm. if you dare to steal money from the state of house they do it they, uh, they, they execute you publicly so we're supposed to we i'm not saying that you keep, yeah. Yeah, it's still in our penal code it's still there so i think uh even if we're not uh, uh, killing but the punishment should be severe so that other yeah. person should be afraid okay still. yes thank you very much frankly uh what do i even have to say than what i've already said all is that we what, all we need to do now is we should sensitize Cameroonians to know that corruption is not good. By and as uh, as I was uh, as, uh, as, uh, as as I was saying, yeah, we should increase the salaries of guys thank you. and reduce the prices of things. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you guys good. for coming. It was a pleasure for us to meet you. Happy New Year to you. Yeah. Jamaya Naba is here with me. 
Good afternoon to you, Jean-Marie. Happy New Year. Good afternoon, uh, Happy New Year, Belle Bella Samari. Happy New Year to your guests and our listeners. I'm very happy.